Welcome to Leave No Taste. My name's Mark. Tonight, we're making smoked lake trout cakes. Uh, here in northwestern Montana, we have a lot of lake trout that are considered an invasive species because they put a lot of pressure on our native cutthroat trout, bull trout. So we try to catch and eat as many of them as possible. And when treated about the same way as you do a salmon, which is to salt cure them and smoke them, they are very delicious. And you end up with a lot of fillets, a lot of cooked meat that you flake off in the store that can be used in any number of ways. Uh, tonight we're doing trout cakes, but they're fantastic in pasta, or if you make trout or salmon hash. Um, it's, yeah, it's delicious meat to be used any way that you want. Um, we've got about a cup, a little over a cup of fresh breadcrumbs, um, just ground up homemade bread. Nobody should ever, ever throw away bread unless it's moldy, like let your bread go stale or dry and grind it up and then have your own breadcrumbs because they're fantastic. So we're going to flake up our trout meat into the breadcrumbs. You know, I've got two fillets. These fish were, I don't know, not that big. I would guess this is probably about 10 ounces, 12 ounces of meat. Um, two beaten eggs, seasoned with salt and pepper. I've got some fresh parsley, about a tablespoon's worth, uh, and about a tablespoon of ground chili peppers, which you don't need to use chili peppers. I know this one's gonna come out a little bit spicy, but my wife and I moved here from Texas and we like them kind of spicy. So that's just the way we're gonna make these. You just want to uh, make sure that it's well, well incorporated, all the dried breadcrumbs are fully incorporated as binding agent with the eggs. And this could also be done if you have any leftover cooked fish, whether you bake whole fish or you have fillets that are left over, or even if you get like canned crab meat or lobster meat, like. Making cakes like this is just a really versatile way to use up, you know, leftovers, and it's it, they're absolutely delicious. I mean, I think most of you out there have had crab cakes sometime in your life, but catch your own fish, cure and smoke your own fish. It's it's a very very rewarding way to to enjoy your catch. We're just going to make these into decent sized patties, but you just don't want them to be too thick so that they'll cook through evenly and you're going to have it evenly cooked and set before the outside starts to overcook. So, got three nice sized patties here, no more than a half inch thick. Um, and then we'll move them over here to the oil and get them fried. So we've got our oil hot and ready to go in the pan. I've got the oven set on warm so that as these cakes come out, you can rest them. I just have a plate with a paper towel to drain any fat. Um, so we'll just take our trout cakes, gently roll them into the hot oil. Pretty much any oil that's resistant to high temperatures will work. Um, I'm using corn oil tonight, but corn oil, olive oil, canola oil, most vegetable oils are all all suitable for for frying at these kind of temperatures for seafood or cakes or hash or whatnot. So yeah, just get them going. We'll flip them when they start to get golden brown on one side. Finish them off once they're GBD. We'll gold brown and delicious. Slap them in the oven and then we'll feast. Just turning these a little bit to make sure they're cooking evenly. In case you get, you know, a lot of home stoves get a little bit of hot spots in a pan. So nice to rotate them around or check the bottom and well, 
That's looking pretty nice. There we go. Exactly what we're looking for. Bingo. There we have them. Looks like the trout cakes are done and ready to go. I just whipped up a uh, simple Dijonese here. You could serve these with any sauce that you like, whether it's salsa, you could serve them with guacamole, you could serve them with cocktail sauce, you could serve them with ketchup if you're from Wisconsin. Uh, I just chose to do a simple, simple Dijonese. A little bit of sauce on top of each cake. I've got some homemade preserved lemons, which are phenomenal with any, any grilled, fried, any kind of seafood, uh, grilled chicken. This is something we'll touch touch on again later. Some fresh parsley. Little dash of paprika. And there we have it. Smoked lake trout cakes. So we'll see you next time on Leave No Taste. Always make the most of the food you make.